Lola Killersburg. I'm so glad you could join me, despite how much you disappoint me. Cut the banter, Horace. Why did you call me here? Well, I don't want any witnesses here, do I? What? Do you remember that time you called me during work? Well, I'm sorry for disturbing your work. I just wanted to tell you that I've completed my task. Correction! You got two thirds of the task done. Two thirds? I wanted you to kill Angie Deadman for trying to ask for a refund. And I wanted you to take out those two incompetent detectives. I followed your orders, Horace. What did I- Well, concerning Angie Deadman, first off, I wanted her to be stabbed, not strangled, you slut. And as for the two detectives, only one of them's dead. That bloke Willie Johnson. The other one's still kicking. Roger's alive? Damn it, why did he have to survive? And so, after failing to get 100% on the task, and calling me during work, and talking back to me, it's nothing personal, Lola. You're just a cunt. I can't believe this. You know, I regret killing Willie Johnson and leaving that petitious jackass alive. Willie was a great detective, and I regret having to kill him. Well, when I'm done, you won't feel anything at all! <laughs> what? Who dares steal my kills? You! house and play games. I mean, I know, I know how welcome I am there. Should I tell him? Jordan, we need to talk about our friendship with you. You want to talk about how much you value my friendship and that you want it to last forever? Sort of. It's more like the complete opposite of that. Jordan, ever since we've been friends with you, we have been involved in some weird Outlandish situations. Which is precisely why we should split. Split? You mean you guys want to, like, leave? We have to leave, Jordan. It's for our own safety and for our own sanity. <sighs> great. Just great. After all we've been through, you guys just want to up and leave. Think about everything that we've been through. And oh, don't start that cliche! Jordan. I think it's best for me and Raph to go. I'm sorry. Come on, let's go. Just for the record, Jordan, I'm not sorry. Mm. Thanks, Raph. Hello, I'm Lady Parkinson. Welcome to Parkinson's Guns from Australia. Up. This is my Australian shipment. Tour guide, Mr. Bell. And uh, I, I know he's Australian. I've seen plenty of his kind around the country. Now, uh, before we begin our show, uh, Chef Bell has an announcement. Yeah, Langley is a bitch ass. Dude, why? It is. That really hurt my feelings. Hey mate, uh, how, how have you been? Uh, I was just wondering if... Uh... Can you fuck off? Oh come on man, don't be like that! I thought we were closer than that! We'll see. Uh, well, I'll talk to you later then. Yeah, no uh, problem, dick shit. Thanks for your time. What are you? Is this how you 
treat the bloody lions? <laughs> Just who the bloody hell do you think you are? I'm the fucking postman. Oh, bloody postman, my ass. Hey, Norman, what's going on? Piss off, Jordan. Hello, Jordan. Okay, who are you? And what are you doing in my house? Don't panic, Jordan. I've come from the distant future to warn you of a great evil. Warn me about a great evil? That sounds like something a great evil would say. Just call me Jay. Listen, I need to ask you something. Do you know anyone by the name of Horace Wrinklesack? Horace? Yeah, I buy a lot of stuff from him. Well, you need to stop, okay? All you're doing is forwarding his evil plans. You're gonna endanger everyone and yourself. Listen. I came back because I wanted to prevent the bad future and I wanted to save everyone. I even invited an old friend to help me out. You don't mean... Yeah, him. He used to stick by you through thick and thin. I tasked him with warning everyone about the future ahead. But all that resulted in was... Oh my god, the world's ending! The world's ending! <laughs> It didn't end well though. All that ended up happening was that he panicked and ran in front of a bus. And I had to once again witness the death of my friend. Oh my god. I just spoke to his present self not too long ago. Well, it's the present, it's, pre it's present him today, like, in, to me. But you're talking about his future self. Which, in my eyes, is the future. And in your eyes is the present, I guess. And now it's up to me. And that's why I'm here. I want you to take this. What's this? It's a time pendant. The tower was able to get back. Horace created it and I stole it. This is how he brings people back. By preventing their deaths in the first place. I want you to use it and fix it so that you never have met Horace Wrinklesack in your life. Please, you have to hurry, Jordan. It's only a matter of time before- Well, well, well! What are we here? Some naughty boy is messing with the time stream! I've got a fist gun, and I'm not afraid to use it! Hello, Jordan! How did you get in here? Alright, my duckies, here's how it's gonna go down, alright? If you don't comply with my demands, I will kill both of you, and rape you through your nostrils! But if you do comply with me, then I won't kill you! How does that sound? Now give me the fucking time pendants! Jordan, quickly, turn the dials. Decide when and where you're gonna go. Don't even think about it. Whatever you do, no matter what it is, just stop Horace! Come on, quick! Well, he's gone, and you're fucked! Don't get cocky, Horace. With luck, I'm gonna prevent the deal and hinder your plans. You bet on that. J J J J J J J J J J I've been waiting for this longer than I should have just to confront your pretentious fucking ass because I know it's all gonna end the same way over and over again now, get to the fucking back with me! We've got some bargaining to do! What, what was... Just ignore that! And get to the fucking back! Now! Come on, Jordan, don't fail me. Oh my god! Oh my god! What kind of uncouth monster would do such a thing? He must be a very deeply disturbed man. My word. Oh well, live and learn. Hi, Raph. Oh, that's pretty cool.
cool Jordan. When do they make those? Yonks ago. You, you really shouldn't yell, Jordan. People are trying to sleep. People say I'm the stupid one. Ah! Oh my god, that was awful. Where am I now? I need something to get get that image out of my mind. Oh, pornography! And my favourite kind, furry! Don't panic, I'll find us a bunker. Yes, find a bunker and please never come out! This will do nicely. Whoa! Hey! Not next time! Sorry. Asshole. Sorry. Who are we talking to? Myself. Ha! <laughs> now, back to business. Oh, I need to change. Time travel really makes you smelly. And that is why I came to Australia. Interesting. I want to try your exquisite cuisine and enjoy the fresh air of kangaroo shit. I also had an Australian tour guide. But it turns out, he wasn't Australian. And he was actually some spy playing two people. That was that was kind of a shock. So what's your story? I'm just trying to prevent something. Something that'll happen soon. Something that'll haunt me for the rest of my life. I've got three leads so far, all mutually associated with my subject of investigation. If all goes well, their testimony will help me prevent what it it's gone. Hmm. I know that park. It was the scene of that murder that fateful day. That would result in the death of my partner. The partner I had worked on many cases with. Well, only two or three, but still. This all started when Angie was killed. She was a sweet woman. Did the man kill his wife? Or is the man his own wife? Oh, talking to you is like having an aneurysm. Boys, I brought some sandwiches. Thank you. Thank you, Angie. Anyway, what do you suggest we do? I'm afraid I have some bad news, really. The latest victim. It's Angie. I'm afraid so. I'm at the crime scene right now. I'll see you in a bit. Actually, no. I'm gonna wait over there. Wait for him to come and make my appearance. That'll be so cool. I promise, Willie. I'll get Horace back. Well, there's my bus. Uh, yes, can I... Uh... I will ask the questions here. I need to know if you know someone. I'm sure we all know somebody. Yes, we all know somebody. But I'm asking if you know someone. Uh, someone? May I come in? Uh, yeah, 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 just shut up. Thank you for coming, miss. Uh, you came here. And thanks for the tea. You do realise that cup is empty. Alright, enough pleasantries. I came here to ask some questions. What are you talking about? Because some sources of mine that I made up have told me that you are acquainted with a certain someone. A fellow by the name of Jordan. Oh, you mean Jordan. I've come to realise that your friend is an acquaintance of an enemy of mine. Is the name Horace Wrinklesack familiar to you? No. Well, I'm afraid your friend is either in league with Horace Wrinklesack, or he's being used to create chaos and bring Horace's sordid plans to fruition. Okay, seriously, how much damage can Jordan actually do? If recruited by Horace Wrinklesack, quite a lot. Wait! I think I should leave. In fact, 
Your doubt arouses me suspiciously. What are you talking about? How do I know you're not in league with Horace Ugglesack? I think a search is in order. Get a life, you loser! All women are the same. I still got two leads. I need to use them wisely. Let that jerk's out of here. Uh, huh? Who are you? Someone you said way too much about. <laughs> A reliable source has told me what the future holds for us. Yes, that's pretty much it. That dick son of, a of course Jordan fucks it up. That's all he ever does. Right, right, look, look, calm down. I know you're angry, and you have every right to be. But it's best if you stay away from this because of Yeah, fucking time travel bullshit, okay? Well, yes, but also Okay, thanks, shit dick. As helpful as it was from the first, that second lead turned out to be a bust. But third time's the charm. Whose car is this? That third lead will help me save the world. And I'm gonna milk that cow for what it's worth. What the fuck are you talking about, you dickhead? I appreciate your input, good sir. But right now, I gotta save the world. Now listen, Jay. We can do this the easy way. Or with overdone cliche movie quotes. It's your choice. I may be stuck in the past, Horace, but I know my actions will result in a better future. Hell, I've even allied with someone who's been on your trail for many years. You seem to be forgetting something, my lovely. I've always been getting help from the top, both financially and constructively. I once knew a man, a rich man, a man by the name of Funkle Snatch. He made a living off making pocket watches, so he made the perfect partner for me. Then why did you kill him then? Because he was a traitorous man, that's why. He tried to out me to the news, throw me under the bus, hang me out to dry. And that's when I realised that he's probably not the best financer for me. Well, he kind of is, but, you know, his loyalty wasn't so genuine. So I decided to off the fucker when I had the opportunity. You murdered Mr. Funkle Snatch in cold blood, and you know it, you fucking psychopath. Well, duh! I'm fucked in the head! It would be out of my character to not kill him, regardless of his betrayal! So, now you're gonna kill Jordan and I, right? Actually, no. What? That's something you'd expect from me, eh? Well, fair enough. I, I mean, I, I do have the track record, so your assumptions aren't exactly unfounded. But still, I like to think that... <laughs> Shut up, you prick! I kidnapped you fair and square! Deal with it! <sighs> but I do like to think I am strategic about my plans. So here's what's gonna happen, Jay. Jordan's gonna come back here. Not just to this timeline, but to this very location. And I'm not going to kill him. Not now, anyway. Instead, I'm gonna do something more insidious. Remember when I said that rich Uncle Funkle Snatch was an expert on pocket watches? Well, that's how I was able to get this, baby. How do I know you're not gonna kill Jordan? Because I'm the one who's been keeping Jordan alive, you prick! Don't you remember? There were certain times when Jordan had met his end by certain people or certain occurrences? I've always been in these timelines to see to it that he doesn't meet them. I've always been there in these timelines to prevent his deaths. And the reasons for that are very well thought out. But I'm not gonna tell you. You're not even listening, are you? I'm, I'm sorry, I was, I was wondering what was in the bag. That's none of your business! Shut up! Either way, give it up, Horace. I'm gonna bring an end to your sick little game. Whether Jordan's victorious or not is irrelevant! I'm gonna kill you anyway! So it's settled then. You meet me at the park. Uh-huh. At 5pm. Yeah. And we'll discuss things from here. 
Alright, one second, I just gotta change my shirt. Never mind the continuity is intact. Very well, do what you gotta do. I'll see you soon, and thank you for your cooperation. At last, I have a good lead to go off. Who the hell are you? Just a man who's gonna save the world. What are you talking about? I'm afraid I can't tell you anymore, little girl. This planet needs me. Uh, okay. We have all kinds of fruit, I say. We have an old-fashioned tomato, but... What the hell is this? It's a banana. I said we had no bananas! Alright, who the fuck threw that? What? Just lay down here, Zelda, and we'll have some fun. Let's watch TV. Oh, I miss the house on Kill the mailman, you can kill the neighbors, but my friends are not on! And you stay there until you learn your lesson! Oh, I remember this place. Ah, oh, I have good memories here. Just me and my good friend. Oh my god, you poor thing. Look at you. Imprisoned. Encased. Confined. Restricted. Other adjectives. But not anymore. You're free from this bleach-covered hellhole. Be free, little one. Be free! And also I need to use a shower because um, time travelling makes you sweaty. So damn system of the goddamn killing people. Yeah, I'll let her out tomorrow, but she's she's better learn a lesson. Where am I now? I think I'm in the present, but what time is it? Hey Norman! What time is it? It's time for you to piss off, Jordan! And it's also 6 p.m. All right, I think I have time to stop this. Thanks, Norman. Go fuck yourself. Jay, no! I, I can't believe this happened to you. Horace has gone too far. I will prevent this, Jay. I promise. Hello? Hello, Jordan? Yeah, who is this? Alright, listen. I've been talking to your friends regarding... You and Horace. There's something I need to tell you about. Horace Wrinklesack? Look, Horace is not what he seems, alright? He's using you. And if you continue to buy his knickknacks, you're gonna aid him in his quest to take over the world and other bad stuff. I know, I know. Don't worry, though. I'm gonna fix it. You're gonna what? Someone gave me Horace's time-traveling watch. I'm gonna go back and fix everything, if I can get it out. No, don't do that! You're gonna play right into his trap! Horace is a I've more or less worked out the controls, it's fairly straightforward. Horace is a cunning man, okay? Look, I don't have time to talk, okay? No, I have to avenge you. someone. Listen. Horace is not- Hello? Bollocks! No getting through to him, is there? Don't worry, Jay. I'll prevent the bad future from happening. I'm gonna have to go back in time and kill Jordan. Really? I know you'll be upset to lose your friend, but in order to save the world, I have to do it. Sacrifices have to be made. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going through time. 
God bless that man. Raphael! Long time no see! You're one ugly motherfucker, aren't you? I could say the same about you. Now, say hello to my overused reference. No! I'm preparing the greatest vegan dish you're ever gonna try. Fuck this shit. Fuck it, I'm out of here. Oh no! Now who's gonna try my vegan dish? Oh mate, I don't know who you are, but you look like a faggot. You want to try my vegan dish? Uh, no. Oh mate, these hallucinations are getting worse. I'm not sure if it's this or the paint thinner. Why would you do that? We're out of your fat conversation. Where are you? What's wrong with you? When is this? Video. I mean, I'm grateful, I'm just dumbfounded. Fuck you! Oof. Oh, like Apparently, hair loss, hair growth, and hemorrhoids aren't the only bloody side effect of time traveling. BO is as well. I better go shower. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it, mate. Alright, well, uh. What about you? You have a baby, Boop. and it's an evil baby, and it's trying to take over the world. Boop. All right, okay. Boop. All right, uh, baby. Uh, right. It's target striking. Just hope I don't miss. No. Fucking no. I love Alec Baldwin. I've got Alec. you now, Jordan. Boop. What do you think, Dennis? Bugger! Dennis? Dennis is dead. What? Grace, did you boop him to death? It's not on. That's it. Gotta go back again. Yeah. Bloody postman, my ass! What's going on? Hey Norman! What's going on? Piss off, Jordan! This is before I went through time. This could be my chance to stop this. But I have to wait for my past self to leave. Which might be some considerable time. Correction! You got two thirds of the task done. I wanted you to kill Angie Deadman for trying to ask for a refund. And I wanted you to take out those two incompetent detectives. Two incompetent detectives? What about me? First off, I wanted her to be stabbed. Quickly, turn the dials. Decide when and where you're going to go. Don't even think about it. Whatever you do, no matter what it is, just stop Horace! Come on, quick! Well, he's gone, and you're fucked! And here are your plans. You can bet on that. J, J, J! J, 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 J! Jay! I've been waiting for this. Long 
stronger than I should have just to confront your pretentious fucking ass. Because I know it's all gonna end the same way over and over again. Now, get to the fucking back with me. We've got some bargaining to do. Okay, I think my past self's gone. I can go in now. I'm gonna find past Jordan, and I'm gonna kick his ass, and then I'm gonna find future Jordan, and I'm gonna kick his ass, and then I'm gonna kick my own ass. Could it be? We've got some fucking explaining to do. Is it really him? Who is John? I want to kick his ass. And so, after failing to get 100% on the task, and calling me during work, and talking back to me, it's nothing personal, Lola. You're just a cunt. Well, when I'm done, you won't feel anything at all! What? Who dares steal my kills? Oh god. You! Oh god. Ah! Floppity flea! I just got shot in the knees! You're not going anywhere, Slag! What's the big idea? I've come to stop you, Horace. I'm gonna make sure Jordan never met you by either killing you or him. Is that right? Well, maybe you and I should go pay him a visit. I won't be doing anything with you, you foul pervert. Well, I'm afraid you have no choice in the matter, sweetie. What's in that briefcase? Nothing at the moment, sweetie. <laughs> Jordan, did you kill the neighbor's cat or not? Oh no. Where are you? There's no telling what Horace will do. I have to stop him What's before- What's all the bloody yelling about? I've got a hostage in here! Who the hell are you? That's none of your business! If you're looking for Jordan, he's not here anymore! Means that yes. No, he's not dead! I haven't killed him yet! Or did you? No! I haven't! Oh, he's just gone through time, you slag! But if it's any consolation, when I do see Jordan, I will kill him! Mark my words! Okay, thanks, you ugly face. But I think I've said too much, so I'm gonna have to kill you now. It's nothing personal. And, uh, when you go to hell, tell your rich uncle I said hi! And fuck you! Which of the fuck was for? No! No! Speak to me, old friend! I can't believe this. Horace has gone too far. Now listen here, Jay. If you don't comply with my demands, Horace Rinkelsack, you're gonna pay for this! <laughs> oh, Jordan, you've been paying me throughout us knowing each other. And look where it's gotten you. You've lost everything. Your friends, your money. Yeah, that's about it. That's the only thing that's ever had any meaning in your life. That's not true. My friends will come for me. I killed them, you slag. I know exactly who your acquaintances are. What? I'm many steps ahead of you, Jordan, especially when I have this. And I know how to manipulate time and space. So I brought myself to the time and very space I knew your friends would be. And then I killed them. And I stayed in your laundry for the duration of last week, drinking, interrogating my hostage, and lying in wait for this fucking wanker to make his appearance. No, it, it can't be. Yes, that's right. Raph, Claudia, and the other one. All dead! And it's all your fault! You're a truly reprehensible man, Horace Wrinklesack. Oh, you flatter me, child! Now back to you, Jordan. You officially have nothing in life to live for. And honestly, killing you would be doing you a favour. But you know, I'm actually feeling quite merciful. 
So what are you proposing? It's simple! Hand me the toy pendant and kill this fuckwit over here! And I promise things will change for you very quickly! You'll have friends! You'll have riches! You'll have a reason to live further! Jordan, don't take it! And what if I refuse? Well then, you'd be putting your life at risk, as well as two others! What do you mean? You again? Haha, <laughs> so you two do know each other! Splendid! Now if you two want to keep it erecting, I suggest you take my offer, Jordan. Jordan, don't do it. I don't think you're in a position to argue here, Roger. You said something about killing Jordan to fix the present or something like that. Oi, that was the last resort, okay? What? Look, I'll explain later, okay? Well, if you at least consider my offer, I'll kill your potential assailant right here, right now. You were trying to kill me? Look, just give me a moment to fix this, alright? You forget one thing, Horace. I have the prototype. The prototype? You're serious, aren't you? With this, I can have as many mulligans as I need. I wouldn't recommend that, mate. I'll see you all in time. There's a reason I scrapped this arsing thing! If I'd known you'd been using that, I would have confiscated it! What's going on? What's going on? The thing's gonna blow! Everyone hit the deck! My god! Roger! What happened? The prototype was unstable! And it's flash heated Roger! So... Roger's dead? I'm afraid so. He may have been my nemesis, but he was my favourite one! And he was a worthy adversary. Oh, Roger, bless your little heart. I can't believe he's gone. Church. Horace! Oh! No! Jane! It can't be! How did you escape your ropes? You never tied me up. Oh! I knew I forgot something! Jordan, now's our chance. Now's our chance to end this madness. I... I don't know. I'm not sure if... Jordan, why would you want to help this faggot? You don't even know him! But you know me very well! You're my best customer! What am I supposed to do? Jordan, please! I promise! I'll reward you for your loyalty as my best customer! Now help me kill this poof dog! Don't listen to him, Jordan! He's trying to fool you! Jordan, on the bench! I have the most lethal weapon allowed within the British Empire! It's the entire collection of Monty Python completely novelized! It's bigger than the Bible and the Lord of the Rings collection combined! And it weighs about as much as a baby elephant! As a weapon, it's absolutely lethal! Quickly grab it and kill this fuck! Ignore it! Kill Horace with it! We got it right where we want him! Quickly! Jordan, please! He's overpowering me! He's the insidious one, not me! I've always been there for you! Jordan, make the right decision! Jordan, hurry! Oh. oh my god, my neck! Good job, laddie! You actually did it! Consider our partnership officially sealed! Alright, great. So, uh, what are we going to be doing first, Horace? Take this, Jordan! This. On the scroll I gave you are instructions for a dance. A dance that will multiply you. A dance that will bend the world to our will. This, my friend, is the Aspie dance. 
Okay, Boris, I won't let you down. You still have that time pendant, right? Well, go back in time, perform the dance, multiply yourself, help spread my evil message throughout the world. Like, I don't know, like, like a talent show or something. Just go, Jordan, go! There's no time to waste, there's no time like the present. Yes! Yes! I've won! I'm victorious! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I need to poo badly! Oh! Jay! No! I, I can't believe this happened to you! Are you kidding me? This thing isn't even broiled! Hello? Huh? Yeah, uh, I, I, need, I need some cash right fucking now. Well, fuck you! We interrupt this rerun of Parkinson's Comes to Australia for an emergency news report. There have been numerous sightings of a man doing a very strange and simple dance, and we say numerous sightings in the sense that these men are multiplying in numbers. The man himself is Jordan Fredericks, the contestant from the latest episode of Australia's Got Talent, who had dubbed the very dance, the Aspie Dance. At first, they all congregated in one spot. Now it seems they're spreading. So far, despite the anomaly, we can safely say that no harm seems to be done. In other news, Timepiece Tycoon, Sir Richard Sunderland, was found murdered in a nearby alleyway next to the house of his niece. Hello? Is this the Chief? Yes, this is Chief Queen. My name is Horace Wrinklesack. Uh, don't ask how I got this number, but you've probably heard about me from one of your former colleagues, Roger Kids, uh, who I, uh, I just wanted to let you know uh, has sadly been flash heated to death. Yeah. Roger Kids is dead. Oh, that's a relief. I barely remember that bastard. Listen, I'm trying to watch the news. And what could possibly be happening on the news that's more important? Like an idiot and killing some people. Really? How interesting! How was that going? Hello? Yeah. Oh great, he's dead! <laughs> Things are coming as planned! <laughs> I did it, Horace. Ah, oh, Jordan, you're back! And you've succeeded! Yep, there's a whole bunch of me throughout the world doing the Aspie dance, ready to bend people to our will. And to think I nearly trusted Jay, eh? Yes! I'm so impressed with you, mate! I'm so impressed! I've never met anyone who was willing to kill their own future self. Future self? You mean... You mean that guy is- That's right, Slag! You killed yourself from the future! And now, I can rule the world with an iron fist that I intend to fist people with! Ha ha ha! And I have you to thank for it, Jordan! No, it can't be! And as for the spoils I bribed you with, you can get stuffed! Ha 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 ha! Oh, I'm so happy! I've won! What? Horace! You and I, I, I thought that... What? That I cared for you? Ha <laughs> ha! What a fucking joke! <laughs> I don't even consider you a loyal customer! <laughs> Not even the ones before you! I consider you a means to an end! Now leave my fucking house! Your house? But this is my house! I had one of your clones sign the deed to me! And since their signature and handwriting matches yours, I now legally own your house, and all the fucking shit in it! So, let me repeat myself. Get the fuck out of my house or I'll sodomize you! <laughs> oh, all 
also, I'll be taking this back, thank you the fuck very much. It's my property, much like this house. Now get the fuck out of here before I skull fuck you. <laughs> This. I had everything. A decent house. Good friends. And I traded it all in for that bloody slime ball. And now. And look where you are now! Poor little trusting Jordan! I hope you're proud of the current position you're in! Because let me tell you something, no matter how many chances you have, no matter how many times you go back, no matter what you do, who you interact with, you'll always find yourself there. And of that I'm certain, you fucking slut. I'm off now, you make me sick. Oi, Horace. Oh, oh no! Punched me in the face! Oh, no one's ever done this to me! I've never experienced being punched in the face! It hurts! It hurts so much! Oh, and now he's trying to steal my virginity! Please stop it! No, I'm too young and handsome! Stop! Stop him! He's a madman! Yes! What? You intend to go back? Is that what you're doing? I plan to fix your mess, Horace. You think this will fix anything? You think you can go back? Cause let me tell you something! This will fix nothing! Do you hear me? Nothing! Shut up, will ya? That was rude. Hello, Jordan. Okay, who are you? And what are you doing in my house? Don't panic, Jordan. I've come from the distant future to warn you of a great evil. 